So the other component that we want to talk of in Transformer is the book calls relay. So the book calls relay, they are not in all transformers, especially the smaller units. You can't find them there. Okay, but as the size of the transformer is getting bigger, of course, we will need a, a better protection of the transformer and it will be more feasible or cost effective to use the book calls relay. So you will find them in transformers that uh, are very large, say as from 500 or uh, 750 kV upwards, okay? So you will find them there. So what is the work of this uh, book calls relay? As you can see, it is connected between the conservator and the transformer tank, okay? Remember, as like we said earlier, what we said earlier, that the conservator tank is like a temporary holding unit for expanding oil. Okay, so during normal operations, as you load, heat is generated. The heat is conducted by the transformer oil. The transformer oil is bound to expand. So as it's expanding, like we said, if it does not have anywhere to expand to, it can cause the overpressurization of this tank and can cause the breakage of these seals because these are the weakest points, okay? You see between the tank cover and the tank, and that can cause leakages, okay? Or can cause explosion of over, because of overpressurization of uh, the tank. So those, as it, oil is expanding, it moves to the conservator tank, okay? So once it cools, it contracts back into the transformer uh, tank, the main tank. So the Bukos relay is always located between the conservator tank and the transformer main tank. So as the oil is flowing, rising from the, the main tank, so the conservator tank, it always goes through the Bukos relay, okay? So what is the function of the Bukos relay? So the Bukos relay, basically what it does is to protect the transformer against internal faults of the windings, okay? Internal faults of the windings. So, we know that if there are shots within the windings, like we said earlier, that can result to arcing. Okay? So it can result to arcing, and we all know that arcing is a very high thermal event. And that arcing can cause the dissociation of the oil molecule. And once that happens, hydrogen will be given off. Okay? So that hydrogen gas, as it's given off, it will rise from wherever it is generated, it will rise to the top part of the tank, and that will cause it to flow through. To describe what, uh, explain what we are trying to say. So now, as the gas, the hydrogen gas is rising, okay, from the winding through the tank, you see, when it gets to the Bukos relay, it will tend to rise up and not go through, okay? So it will rise up to this particular upper part of uh, the Bukos relay. So as it's rising up, there is a float switch, okay? A, a float that is controlling a, a mercury switch at the up here. So as it's rising up, it will displace the oil and then the float will drop and that will cause the mercury switch to close. Okay, so as it closes, it will send an alarm signal to the operators of this particular unit that something is happening within the transformer. So that is for an incipient force, something that is developing. So as the gas is accumulating, okay, uh, the displacement will be happening and then it will happen to a stage that the mercury within this upper part of uh, the Bukos relay, the mercury switch will be activated and then it will send that alarm to operators, okay? So now you will see that it is the gas, hydrogen, 
that displaces the oil within the bucous relay, okay, and cause the float to drop to activate the mercury switch. In the case of incipient faults, not too alarming problems, okay. Then the other one is when we have a serious short, a serious fault within the windings of the transformer. So if you have serious problem within the windings of the transformer, you'll see that the arcing will be high. That means the heat generated will also be high. And as the heat generated is high, the rate of expansion of the oil will also be high. And the rate of dissociation of the oil molecule will also be what? High. So you see that the rate of uh, rise of the oil and movement through the Bucos relay will do what we also be increased. So at the lower part here, there is a flap, okay, that uh, that increased rate of oil that is flowing through the transformer will cause the move, cause its movement or push that flap. So as it pushes that flap, it causes the activation of another mercury switch. Okay, that switch is tied to the trip uh, or the trip system or to your breaker. Okay, your trip circuit to cause the trip of uh, your circuit breaker. So that is when a very serious problem is happening within the transformer. So you see that the transformer, uh, the book cause relay, is protecting the transformer against two kind of problem. One is when an incipient fault, okay, is uh, within the transformer, a fault is developing within the transformer. Then the second one is when a very serious fault is happening within the transformer. So other connection points too that are not properly made can also cause arcing. In that arcing can also result to the generation of a hydrogen gas that can warn us of the, uh, the fact that something is happening within the transformers, okay? So that is the function of uh, the Bucos relay. And you will come across the transformers that have Bucos relay along your power system, especially around your transmission lines and uh, your primary distribution systems, okay? Or your power primary distribution uh, system, yes, system in your power system, okay? So this is the Bucos relay, as you can see, okay? This is what you will see. So the input, this part, as you can see on the arrow, is connected to this part of uh, the transformer, okay, that is connected to the, this part of the transformer tank, then here to the conservator, that is how it is connected.